What's up, everyone? So, it's about 3 o'clock in the morning. I can't sleep because I work third shift. And I had an idea. So, my 383, I don't think it's going to be done this year. I got a lot of stuff I still got to do to it. Got to buy parts that I need for it. And it's just not going to happen. So... I came up with an idea. I'm going to build an engine out of all my extra crap I have laying around my garage. So let's see how that goes. All right. So I got a 350, a 454, and a 305. The 305s pretty much all put together just needs a carb and a distributor 454 needs two pistons valves for the heads and all that sort of stuff so probably no go on that then there's the 350 I think that just needs an oil pan heads put on cam stuff intake all that fun stuff so instead of going the easy route with the 305, I'm just slapping it in. We're gonna grab this 350, work some magic on it, and get it all built up. Hopefully in a couple hours. We'll see how that goes. All right, so I got the stroker off the stand. That's now on the floor here. And I got the 350 out. And, you know, she's seen better days, but I'm sure I can go and free her up. I know you can't really see too well in there, but the rings or the, the pistons aren't looking so happy on that side either. But I'll go and I'll get those cleaned up. What I'm literally going to do is just slap those 305 high output heads on here. And um, pretty much take the stuff off that engine put it on this one since this one's also a one piece or a two piece rear main seal the flywheel and all that fun jazz will literally bolt right on and I'll be golden so next step get this on that see this is what I mean by it's not looking so pretty oh yeah right up in there crusty but you know, we'll get her all nice and sanded down or wire wheeled down and this thing will be golden. Yeah. All right, so let's start at it. Let's see if it will go faster. Well, they're cleaning up okay. Not the greatest, but Let's see. Yeah, it'll be all right. That one. Oh, there's. Yeah, it's just some dust. But this is the one. 
little bit of pitting. Ugh. Yeah, but you know, it'll smooth out. It'll be okay. As long as we go and get this all freed up, I don't really even care. All right, now for the other side. All right, let's start. Ooh, on these. These aren't looking so good either. This whole thing's just looking terrible, but you know, that's what I work with. All right, here we go. Okay. Whoa. Ah, something happened in this one. Oh, there's all sorts of like little dings and dents in this piston. Jesus. Kind of looks like a bolt fell in here. I'll just show you guys quick what I'm talking about. Like, see right there. Let's see if this will focus. But yeah. That looks like piece, like a in little indent of a bolt. And then there's a whole bunch of other little pitting on here. But, you know, yeah, it'll, it'll be okay. All right, back at it. But yeah, see this side. I gotta clean that one a little bit, but it doesn't look all too bad. There's numbers on these pistons. There's a K and then a four. Like, hold on, let's see if I can turn off the light quick. There we go. So, and there's a four there, a K there. It's on every single piston, so it's not just the order of the pistons or anything. So this engine could be bored 40 over, maybe? But that's just a guess. I don't know. I'm not really digging into it that much. So now I'll go and I'll smooth the top deck out and see how that turns out. this up with some breaking parts cleaner that I found sitting in the corner of my garage so all right Yeah, 
so very bad. Let's go clean this out real quick. Ooh. All right. It's not perfect, but it's a hell of a lot better. See? cleaned up okay it's not perfectly clean but compared to what it was I think I did okay see this one still has some pitting and stuff but you know it'll be all right yeah this I've noticed this side though there's no fours on these pistons but there's fours on these pistons. I have no clue. I just think it's a little bit odd. But, oh well, now I'll go and I'll get some head gaskets and time to slap the heads on. Before I get too deep into this, I just want to see what type of cam's in here real quick. Ooh. Flat tap it. So, this might have a cam in it. I don't know what this engine came with stock, but hopefully it's an aftermarket cam. This engine came with 305 high output heads on it, which is kind of a reason why I have three freaking sets of the, those heads. Because it seems like everything that I get, people just want to slap them on. But this engine has definitely been torn into, in my opinion, so it could be built. Who knows? I could have another 383 stroker in here and not even, not even know it. But, come on, get back in your home. Got to be gentle with these things. Come on. Unless they're fighting with you, and then you gotta show them some tough love. Why won't you go? Back in your home. There you go. Bam. Perfect. So now, next goal. Get this thing unseized, then slap the heads and stuff on it. I don't really see a point in slapping on the heads if I can't get the engine to turn over. Alright, so here's the bottom part of the engine. You know, it doesn't look too happy either. But, I'm just going to see if I can go and get this thing to turn over for me. And, we'll see where we go from there. Oh, but first got to find some... Nice luby stuff to go and slap in on it. Well, I couldn't find any WD-40 or anything, because, you know, I'm probably out of it. So, some 5W-40 will work. Screw it, right? Go and make a little hole on top. We're like five. That's still not through yet. Or it is, but dumb me doesn't realize. Yep, there's that there. Okay, well. Yeah. 
You know what? Screw the hole on top. Just gonna go and put a nice light coat of oil over everything. Oh, ah, lucky me, there's a pan there. There we go. Now, let's go in. Oh, I got to put a crank bolt in there. Different idea. You don't want to move. So I got a bar. Oh, there she goes. That's a good sign. It turns over. Barely. But, hey, I'll take it. All right, so I'm just gonna go turn the engine over real quick, which is probably what I should have done to begin with and lubed up the upper cylinders instead of the lower cylinders, but whatever. Oh. So the top's all nice and moved up now. Flip it over. Go. Get everything in here, a nice little coating of love. <laughs> you know, oil's love apparently. Now we'll go back at at it, turn the turn this thing over. Now that I actually broke it free a little bit, I'll try putting some pressure on the crank bolt. Oh, there! Yeah, it turned a bit. Oh, there we go. Oh, it definitely licked the lube. Oh, now it's stuck. That was a good little thunk. Oh, there's something somewhere that's not happy. Oh, yeah. that one. Oh, 
There we go. Hell yeah. And that right there is how you screw up your bearings. Or free up an engine. We're just gonna go with free up an engine. All right, so since this cylinder wall still isn't looking too happy, I'm gonna go and bring that piston down, go and wire wheel the wall a little bit, and hopefully it'll smooth out some, because there's still some pinning on there and I I don't want to completely screw up this engine but if I can't get it decent then oh well well I tried it doesn't look pretty in there but you know it is what it is I'll go and I'll clean this out real quick and then it is time to slap some heads on this bad boy. Woo! You know, what I'm going to do next, some of you are probably going to give me shit. And I don't care. See these? These are used. And they're going on there. Alright, now that we have our brand new head gaskets on there, let's go slap the heads on. go bada bing bada boom all right so i'm gonna end it for this video right here i'm gonna end up making this a two-part thing because the video would probably be like 45 minutes to an hour long if i did the whole thing in one video so i'm gonna make it two parts because as you can see i've been working on it some and it's just it would have just been a super long video but okay here is part one part two should be out in hopefully a few days so yeah like subscribe do what you're gonna do